What's up? In this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my short film, I Need Coffee. So let me start with the preface that I am by no means an expert and I am a beginner. And that is why I attended a short uh, filmmaking workshop at the New York Film Academy. The reason why I attended the workshop is because I wasn't happy with the quality of the videos that I was putting out on my main channel, Tech by GP. So with that in mind, I invested the time to attend that short uh, filmmaking workshop to see if I can be better at this craft by getting some formal training. And I think that the, or at least my attendance in the workshop actually helped me quite a bit in uh, my storytelling and framing all my shots and at least knowing what I'm supposed to be doing as far as shooting video uh, and making film. I really had a lot of fun attending this workshop. It was, uh, it was fun having to uh, have other people with the same interest as I am in the class and being taught by some really uh, good instructors in this craft of filmmaking. So the workshop wasn't very long, it was about a week long. Uh, five days of instruction plus uh, uh, two days of filming and editing and then you do a presentation at the end. So the, this film, the uh, I Need Coffee, is my submission for the uh, film project at the end of the workshop. Being that we had these limitations of, uh, of time, which is the weekend, so I had two days to film and edit, and the fact that we are in a pandemic, and I didn't have uh, many people to choose from as far as uh, trying to get people to act in my film, so I decided that I was gonna create a story uh, it was really just a short story of me acting in it and I would direct and write the uh, write the script for this film. Well, I really wanted to do everything myself. So instead of uh, asking my wife to, uh, to help me film the, uh, the film, uh, I asked her to document me filming the film. <laughs> That's kind of redundant now, isn't it? But yeah, so I was I was filming and I, I asked her to film me while I was doing it. So I, I wanted to get into the actual uh, rigors of uh, doing it all myself. And that in itself actually came with its own uh, issues as far as uh, trying to get the, the, uh, the shots right, framing, uh, focusing, because I'm using a Blackmagic uh, cinema camera. Uh, so it, this doesn't really have uh, you know, what we would normally call uh, autofocus. So I had to figure out a way to, uh, to do uh, focusing remotely because now because it's facing me, you know, I had to find a way to actually see myself and at the same time uh, be able to manipulate the camera and focus on myself at the same time. So um, there's actually an, an app that you can use to do that. And uh, I'm using it here right now, actually, if, uh, if you all can see that. So, so in, in this app, uh, you can actually do the focusing, you can do, uh, you, can act, you can actuate the, um, uh, you know, whatever, you can make your, your, your choices as far as your, your mics and, uh, you know, what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of uh, color profile you're going to use, all that good stuff. I mean, I think it's the majority of uh, what, what your controls would be. Of course, it has its own limitations, but uh, as far as uh, being able to just start the recording and, uh, and doing focus, uh, that's really what I needed to uh, to do because I said everything uh, beforehand and it really worked out for me in this project. So in this project, the focus of it was continuity. So we had to film a, uh, a project that uh, embodies the meaning of continuity and uh, it's defined as arranging shots in a film to create the impression that time is uninterrupted and space is continuous. So basically, um, it's they, they call it the art of the invisible shot. And, and, and uh, what that means is that you go from a shot to shot with, uh, um, uh, with the action that's, that's continuous and that the viewer doesn't really realize that you're being uh, led through a series of shots because of how they are framed and, uh, and put together. So for you guys who haven't seen the film, I'll put the link in the description below, but it's really the first uh, video in this channel. 
Now, when you uh, when you take a look at it, you'll you, you'll see that um, I've tried I tried my best to to get the, the continuity in there where you know one see uh, one scene and shot uh, starts and then it continues on into the next uh, shot, and it's almost invisible because it's just a different view of the same uh, or the beginning of the of another uh, of another shot but of the same action if that makes any sense so that's the behind the scenes of my short film and i hope you guys like uh, the video uh, i just really wanted to uh, to document uh, my journey from being a, a beginner to maybe in the future a modest uh, filmmaker that I'm able to produce better visuals especially for my main channel Tech by GP but also in the future because uh, I did sign up for uh, for another class at the New York Film Academy where I'm going to focus on uh, micro documentaries uh, for social media so um, I hope you guys uh, uh, like this and if you guys want to follow me on my journey, please subscribe and, and I'll see you in the next video.